everyone, it's Alessandro Bruxel from Home Chef Seattle and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my process on how to make some beautiful dehydrated apple and strawberry chips. The fruits are baked together and then dehydrated and they well together during the process. If you've seen my video on the stained glass fruit chips, this pretty much follows the same process. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. For this recipe, we'll use one apple and a few strawberries. We'll also need a mandolin, two silicone mats, and two baking sheets. Start by cutting the apple in half and removing the seeds. Then, using a mandolin, slice the apple into thin 1mm slices. The apple slices should be 1mm or thinner, no thicker than that. After that, cut thin slices of strawberry using a knife. Lay the apple slices on a baking sheet lined with a non-stick silicone mat. Then get creative and form interesting shapes when laying the strawberries over the apples. Once done, cover the fruits with another silicone mat and an extra baking sheet. Press lightly and bake in a preheated oven at 200 Fahrenheit, 93 Celsius, for about 25 minutes. Remove it from the oven and remove the top baking sheet and top silicone mat. Do it carefully so the strawberry slices don't move. If any move, just reposition them carefully. The fruits should be soft and translucent at this stage. Lower the oven temperature to 175 Fahrenheit, 80 Celsius. Return the tray to the oven and dehydrate for about 2 hours or until completely dry to the touch. Once dry, remove them from the oven and carefully remove the slices from the silicone mat. They will still be flexible and warm, but will firm up as they cool. And the fruit chips are ready. These are paper thin and look amazing. They'll be crispy at first, but if stored, they'll soften eventually and become more like fruit leather. They're still great to eat like that, but can be always placed back in a low temperature oven for a few minutes to crisp up again. I hope you guys have enjoyed the recipe, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching!